Um, hi. All right, hello guys. Here, here's the thing. You might remember like a month ago, me coming on here on my little channel, um, reorganizing my bookshelves, right? I decluttered a bunch of books. I went on a whole ranty ramble about how I was running out of bookshelf space and that, you know, I kind of really need another bookshelf, but I'm never going to buy another bookshelf because there's no reason or need to have more than two. And that if I need more than two bookshelves, that just means I'm not reading enough of the books that I currently own and blah, 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 blah. How I just like kept saying I would never have more than two. So here's the thing though, um, I'm getting another bookshelf today <laughs> because, you know, it's just for multiple reasons. Okay. First of all, I just, I know who I am. I know who I am as a person and I need to accept it. I am a reader. I am a hoarder. I am an obsessive personality type of person. And we all know at this point that like books, reading, it's one of the obsessions and like there is no way I'm not going to buy more books. And these bookshelves are packed. They're packed to the brim. Like it makes me stressed out looking at them because like I can fit maybe like Mm, 10 more books on here if I really tried and like I just am already thinking about the books that I want to get next year like my anticipated releases which I'm gonna make a whole video on don't you worry but I'm just like where am I gonna put them like it's stressing me out like some people have dm'd me and stuff on instagram being like you should get a book cart or like left comments on my youtube channel and I'm like yeah like I could get a book cart but like that's just not gonna do it for me like I want I want a bookshelf I want another bookshelf um, because also like I see so many girlies online my friend Morgan if she's watching this I know she's watching this. Um, she has the cutest bookshelf Like I really like when people have their books like really like spaced out They have room to breathe like their favorites are you know turned and on display like I have that for some of these books But I want to be able to like spread them out even more and I have some books that I've decluttered that I really didn't declutter I just put them in my closet and I kind of honestly want to put them back on my shelves and also, I just wouldn't mind having another shelf because, like, I make content. I keep this in the background. Like, I am a reader girl. This is my brand. I feel like I need to have a third bookshelf. Like, I'm just trying to justify it. But the simple fact is, I'm just getting another one. So ignore everything that I've said. Otherwise, every time I've ever made another bookshelf tour video on this channel, I disavow it. I take it back. I'm sorry. I'm a hypocrite. I'm getting a third bookshelf. And <laughs> I just thought... I would vlog today, bring you guys along because my friend Haley, which you guys probably know if you've spent any time on this channel, she is very much like a do-it-yourself type of girly, a very like independent girly. And I am just like not a fan of manual labor. And she has told me several times, she's like, if you ever need any furniture put together, like I will literally do it for you. I enjoy doing that stuff. And when I moved into this apartment, she actually has built some of my other stuff. <laughs> She's like, just buy me Chick-fil-A and I will make you whatever you want. So I'm like, say less. <laughs> I texted her yesterday and I was like, so in theory, if I were to get another bookshelf, um, could I buy you dinner and like maybe you build it and like we can watch the Dallas Stars hockey game in the background? And she's like, absolutely. So that's what's happening tonight. Uh, I'm about to head to Target with her. I'm going to get another bookshelf. She's going to build it while I sit here and watch her. And I'm going to start sort of strategizing about how I want to reorganize my bookshelves. I don't really know what the plan is yet, to be honest, but um, I'm really excited for it. I'm going to do something kind of fun. These two, they're from Target. And so they're both like the black bookshelf. I think I'm going to get a dark brown one that is like the exact same type and put it in the middle because I think that would kind of be fun to like break it up. I have a lot of browns in my apartment like that is very much the aesthetic so I think it'd be kind of fun to like do the like alternating colors and also the middle bookshelf is going to look a little bit different because the style of this shelf is that it actually has five shelves in it like these two ones at the top or three at the top and then like two big ones on the bottom but I finessed this so that it had six bookshelves. It's kind of a long story and you don't care about it, but um, yeah, the new one is not going to match the other two. It's going to be like a five shelfer. So am I even in focus? I don't want to know how long that was out of focus. It's going to upset me, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to finesse it. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to bring you guys along. So let's go to Target. It's giving when fate breaks. <laughs> it's the season 
for buffoonery. <laughs> there she is, because it's the espresso brown one. She appears espresso, yes. Where, where did I just see it? Oh, it yeah. says team lift mandatory. Espresso finish. She's classy. Yeah. Okay. I'm here for moral support. Holy shit. But lest we not forget, I'm the one building this thing. How did I lift this? With your knees. Also... Jesus. I... I don't know. Please lift with your knees. Oh my god. You're not lifting your knees. I literally, okay, it might require assistance. Okay. No, no. How does one? Okay. Oh, look how easy that is. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says team lift on the pods. Okay. Um, here, pivot. Pivot. <laughs> I'm literally sitting here dripping in sweat because we just filmed, we, I, you as my cameraman. <laughs> Physically held the camera. You physically not filming. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm literally sweating. I did that TikTok trend that's going around right now where it's like the oh I just did it 500 times, so why can I not remember the words? Oh god, maybe when he sees me, he likes me and I know it. That one where it's like when he's literally ugly and the girls are like running around falling on the floor, like obsessing over the guy. I just did that but like book version, like slamming myself against my bookshelf, like doing a cartwheel, jumping on the couch, falling down, and I did like when he's literally fictional. So Go check that out on my TikTok. <laughs> It'll be out by the time you watch this, but I'm sweating. Was it worth it? Probably not, but you know. Hey. How's it going? Um, you know, just Bob the Builder. <laughs> just vibing? Just vibing. Me too. Me and H3 and Brittany. <laughs> Working hard over here. It's okay, I got a free meal out of this. <laughs> Worth everybody. <laughs> Do we have a new playground, children? They're very excited about this. <laughs> Say hello to the fans. Draco. Oh, they love you. A little bit antisocial demon out. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. Work, work, work. <laughs> Enjoying your fort. God, Haley over here wrapping my Christmas presents. <laughs> do I do everything around here? What do I know? <laughs> I think you are. It works. We do things for each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what do I do trying to think about it? But I'm like, it's a balance. <laughs> Stickers go over. Oh, I definitely just didn't do those. <laughs> Cute. We're classy women now. Where are they going? On your side. Where? On the screws. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> the way I looked in the camera was like, oh my god. Okay, I already got this side. Oh. Oh! Your side. Oh, I thought you meant top versus bottom. <laughs> the whole video. That's why I got that way! <laughs> over here. Uh, who needs three when you can have two people? Yeah, imagine a third of us. Hell no. Heck no. That's for sure. Uh, what if okay, we, we want to turn it on its side and then up. Question of the day, which Sturdyolo triplet is your favorite? I'm a mat girly, personally. Oh, shit. Oh, I break it and broke breaking it. Break. We need to English, like breaking it. It needs comfortable. Okay. Then we turn this over. she is done she is ready it's insane how adding like one little piece of furniture changes your living space so much this sounds weird but I almost feel like it 
it made my <laughs> the cats are having lots of fun i almost feel like it's made my apartment look more like put together ignore the chick-fil-a garbage but like it, it's made this space feel so much more complete like i've always felt like this wall kind of had like awkward wall space and it's made this like a combined designated area like it looks so nice and i was kind of hoping this middle shelf had more of a difference to it because it's like espresso brown like you can see it this is black versus brown i thought it was going to be more drastic but it's still cute like i like the contrast i kind of wish they were all brown hello draco <laughs> they're going to be very upset when i fill these with books but oh my god there's so much potential now i am so excited I'm like, should I, this lighting is not a good situation. I'm like, should I, I should probably wait until tomorrow to fill these, but like, I know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> like, I'm definitely gonna end up staying up tonight and playing with them. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, but I'm very happy with this decision. <laughs> Right, guys it is midnight are you surprised because I'm certainly not I just wanted to show you what what I have what I currently have um, there's a good chance I will wake up tomorrow and change half of it but I feel like we made some progress there's always like the downside oh Draco's over me he said too loud at this hour um, here's the thing I feel like when you get new bookshelves it's like a rush because it's like oh my gosh I have so much more space now but like until you're able to fill it up more there's gonna be like awkward space. Like there's going to be some emptiness and that's a good thing. It's hard to find the balance, but I definitely felt like I had a lot more breathing room. I was able to spread things out a lot more. So I'm definitely happy with it. Um, I just wanna show you so far what we're dealing with. Um, just kind of give you like a basic rundown. I gave Penelope Douglas her own entire shelf right here because of course I did, um, was able to put this beautiful alternate cover of Credence on display. Then moving over here, I kind of tried to make like the top shelf all my like all time favorites, but they're all kind of mixed in here too. So um, I have the Magnolia Park series, which as soon as I get my next copy of Daisy Hates, the stack is going to be stunning because that spine is green. I don't know, if you guys follow Jessa Hastings, if you're aware of what's happening, that book was supposed to come out like a week ago and something's going on with Amazon she hasn't been able to publish it in the US it is a whole mess I'm very upset I am still in the middle of reading long way home <laughs> so like I don't really need to be upset about it because like I've been taking my sweet time I'm afraid to like finish that series and then just have like a massive hole in my heart and be in the biggest reading slump ever waiting for the next book to come out so kind of a blessing in disguise but anyways yes this ramble is to tell you this stack will be a little bit taller shortly. And then all my Mariana Zapata books, all roads lead here on display. And then um, red, white, and royal blue because I feel like the posh like Londonness kind of goes with Magnolia Parks. I don't know. And then um, A Happy One Summer and Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. And then over here, kind of a random assortment, The Fault in Our Stars and A Thousand Boy Kisses, two of my absolute favorite books of all time. And then my Taylor Jenkins Reid collection that I physically own. Carrie Soto is back, my favorite of her books. Every Summer After, one of my favorites of this entire year. Um, just a couple random ones mixed in here. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Y'all know how I feel about that book. And then moving down, we've got some kind of like rom-coms in this section. Got my two Allie Hazelwoods on display with just a bunch of other random ones mixed in, my baby. And then, um, of course, The Hating Game is on display, like if y'all know me at all favorite rom-com of all time and then more Rachel Lynn Solomon so underrated love her Spanish love deception my baby once again some more rom-coms um okay let me <laughs> I'm going off the rails okay the twisted series by Anna Huang and then the fault in our star is my favorite book of all time and then my entire John Green collection things we never got over by Lucy score super cute cover love looking at it this is my little hockey romance section. I've got Off Campus, Briar U, um, and then Him by L. Kennedy. Oh my God, literally, if you like Off Campus, Briar U, Him 
is so much better. It's so much better of a hockey romance. It's an MM hockey romance. I've gone on and on about it. Seriously, check it out. Um, icebreaker, random, just other things. Um, here's my little Rick Riordan shelf, Percy Jackson and the Olympians kind of moment. And then more kind of of my favorites and just other things mixed in. Roughest Draft by Emily Wiberly, Austin Sigmund Broca, one of my favorites of the year, along with D The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, of course, I talk about this book all the time. And then uh, moving down, got some, oh, this is an entirely vampire related shelf. <laughs> Every single book on this shelf has some sort of vampire aspect to it, so I thought that was kind of fun. Obviously my original Twilight books, we love them. Um, just more fantasy down here, and then down here I've got my like sci-fi little mini section, and then these are my non-fiction books. So, yeah, and then over here, these bottom two shelves are a little bit bigger in this middle one, so I used it to snap to stack my giant like Colleen Hoover collection. Kind of worked out. Inheritance game series, and then Nicholas Sparks books, and just other like sad emotional books because I felt like it made sense to put it by the Colleen Hoover books. And then, sorry, I kind of went weirdly out of order here, but I've got my Bridgerton books that I have so far from the series, and then more kind of British <laughs> Regency era-esque books. Um, random, most random assortment of like romance-y type of books that I just didn't know where else to put them. And then, um, oh, here's my little thriller slash horror section. And then we've got some fantasy. And then this bottom shelf, is empty right now and it's probably gonna be my cat's new favorite hangout. But yeah guys, I'm gonna sit over here by Draco and annoy him again. Um, that is what I have so far. It's midnight right now, so I'm gonna take a shower and try to get some writing done because I haven't done that yet today because I went down this whole unexpected rabbit hole, but I'll probably keep this vlog going a little bit tomorrow. I kinda have some things I need to do. It's getting into that weird like, holiday season mode where like work is winding down and like I'm getting into Christmas time and like time just doesn't feel real you know what I mean I feel like the holidays are just like weird so um have some things I want to do tomorrow I need to film a video I need to <laughs> write I need to get ahead on like filming TikToks and stuff I've been trying to be a TikTok girly as of recently guys like I'm desperately trying. It's been something that I just haven't been able to get on. Like I ma I've been making like one TikTok every two to three months. It just hasn't been my thing. But like in the past week, I've literally been like, no, you need to get into TikTok. TikTok is like the way of the world. It's where we're all headed. I personally love TikTok. I scroll it all the time. I just need to learn how to use it. I'm so bad at getting like set in my ways. Like I can edit a video so fast like I just know how to do it so well I can do it with my eyes closed but TikTok is just a new thing that I just don't really know about and like I feel like I'm a very creative person but like <sighs> I don't know I've struggled I've struggled with TikToks but I've been having a lot of fun with it this week now that I've just like gotten in the mindset of like you're posting one every single day I find myself like constantly thinking of things to do and like when I hear a sound I'm able to be like "Ooh, what can I do with that so it's been fun if you want to check me out on there I am Nikki's book nook I think Nikki's dot book dot nook I'll put it somewhere in the frame but um yeah I'll just keep vlogging tomorrow because uh I feel like we didn't do a ton here today yeah I will talk to you guys tomorrow okay good morning guys it is so funny that I decided to vlog because we are experiencing a Christmas miracle it is snowing in Texas anyone that is from anywhere but Texas is laughing at me right now can you see if you squint, look, those are snowflakes. There's some on the ground, kind of. <laughs> All my followers from like Europe and Michigan or literally anywhere north of Texas is like literally shut up. But the cats are just like losing their minds. It's snowing. This is so exciting, guys. I've literally seen snow less than five times in my life. So anytime I get a little glimpse of it, it's very exciting and it's very cool that it's like right before Christmas too. Fingers crossed that um, it doesn't affect the roads and I'm able to get home in a couple days. I'm not going to think about that right now. It'll be fine. But um, I am going to do my makeup right now and I think I'm going to attempt, this is my very fancy setup, 
I think I'm gonna attempt to film a TikTok of me doing my like current makeup routine. Nobody asked for it and nobody cares, but I just kind of want to try it. I'm really trying to be a TikTok girly, guys. Like, let me do it. Let me try. But I'm going to do my makeup because I need to film my winter book recommendations video, which is so perfect because it's snowing. This is just like full circle, making my whole life. Um, the vibes are just so good. It's literally like 28 degrees right now, which doesn't happen. Um, my cats know when I'm filming. And every time on the dot, they're like, let's go eat now. It is so loud and annoying. The amount of bloopers that I have, I don't really have them because I delete them, but the amount of clips I probably have of me sitting on that couch to film a book video, like a book review, whatever, of me like starting to talk and then hearing that ding, 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 ding sound of them eating the food, their collar hitting the bowl, and me being like, Draco, stop it. Like, too many to count, too many to count. Um, they literally know, it's like, I don't know if they hear my voice and it like wakes them up and they're like, ooh, let me eat now, but it is infuriating, literally infuriating. They sit around all day and sleep all day, but they're like, oh, Nikki wants to film? Let's eat our food now. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup. If you wanna see this little tutorial, go check out my TikTok. We'll see how it went, but um, yeah. Hello guys, as I tend to do, um, I, entirely forgot that I was vlogging. <laughs> it's like 7.30 at night now, um, and it's very dark outside, and it has gotten down to a crisp 13 degrees. I finally had to turn my heater on because it was like 68 degrees in my apartment. I was like, okay, it's getting a little bit chilly. Um, it's so freaking cold. I have not left my apartment all day because I'm like, I just can't do that. Like I have an entire cart of trash I need to take out. Like it's all like Amazon boxes and stuff that have just been like piling up that I really need to take to my trash chute, but I cannot open my door. Like literally just opening my door today to get my DoorDash, <laughs> my DoorDash and to get a couple of Amazon packages. Like it's so cold. Cause my apartment is kind of like indoor outdoor. Like there's like this opening right outside my apartment that like is out in the open air. And I love it normally, but like, right now with this 13 degree temperature, it's just not working for me. So I've just like made the decision that I'm literally not leaving my apartment for the next two days until it gets, you know, about freezing, like 32 degrees. It's gonna be more like 25, but I cannot do like in the teens, it's too much for me. But um, yeah, guys, I filmed, edited, uploaded a YouTube video. Um, I actually posted a couple of TikToks, a couple of Instagram reels today. Like I have been like, honestly a bit over the top with like the amount of content I've posted this week just like on Instagram on TikTok but I'm having fun with it and I'm trying to just roll with it I'm trying to just like you know how some people like intuitively eat <laughs> I'm trying to be like intuitively creative recently because I like get overly obsessed with like balancing all the things I'm doing and if like anything because something always has to give right something always has to slip through the cracks so like if I haven't posted on Instagram in a while I'm like stressed about that or if I haven't posted a YouTube video and it's like about to be a week now I'm like oh I get stressed if I haven't written like in a day or two or like I'm just not where I want to be like I get stressed so I'm trying to like not make myself do everything as of recently and I'm trying to just be okay with like okay if I'm inspired today to do more TikToks, I'm gonna do that. If I'm inspired today to film a YouTube video, if I'm inspired to literally just write all day, if I wanna just read for the entire evening and do nothing else, like I'm gonna do that as well. So I don't know, kind of working out for me, but also I'm still stressed. I haven't written in like three days. So I'm like, all right, get in the zone. You can do this. So that's, that's what I'm currently doing right now. If you guys are not up to date with some of my recent news. Um, I am writing a new book. I am a little over halfway through with it. It is a enemies to lovers fake dating story set in the 80s. It is called Something Rad. It's going to be coming out next year, hopefully sooner rather than later, but I'm not committing to a certain date right now because I'm just going with the flow, but I am having so much fun writing it. Steve Harrington from Stranger Things is my muse for the character in this story and I'm just so obsessed with it. Like it is so completely different from my first book that I published, When Fate Breaks. Like that was such like a wholesome little friends to lovers story. Those like kind of like emotional and I love that book with my whole heart. But like this story is just so different and the fact that it's set in the 80s, like my favorite era ever, I've just gotten to have so much fun with it. So um, I've been in a little bit of a writing rut recently, like the last week or two. Like 
I'm just at like a difficult point in the story where I'm like, okay, like, like I know what I want to do, but it's just like pushing myself now. Like now is like this little hump. Like I know after I get over this hump, it's like full speed ahead and we'll be all good. But um, yeah, all of this to say, I'm gonna try to write for the next several hours. I wanna, there's this one chapter I've been working on that is like a very big chapter in the story. It is almost like a climax, if you will. Interesting wording, not not what I mean, but like it's it's a very important like plot point, very important to like the enemies to lovers fake dating trajectory, and it's taken me like a whole week to write the scene. Like there's a lot involved like in this chapter. It's actually like spread over like two chapters, but ah, uh, I keep like reading it and writing it and rewriting it and like adding to it, and I'm almost done with it. I just haven't quite finished it yet, so I need to finish that chapter, and I would like to get a very good start on another chapter. So that's my goal for tonight. I don't know how long that's gonna take. I'm gonna try to just like go with flow. Hopefully I can get a few hours of writing in. And then um, I wanna read. I wanna read for sure tonight. I haven't read. I didn't, I don't think I read anything yesterday. Actually, that's a lie. I read a little bit when I was on the treadmill, but haven't done like a solid sit down read for, you know, an hour or two at a time in a couple of days. So anyways, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Talk to you guys in a little bit. Um, hello guys. I'm sorry, this lighting is awful with this lamp behind me, but this is just what we are gonna have to deal with at the moment. Um, because my child is in my lap. Once again, forgot I was vlogging. It is one in the morning and I just sat down to start reading, um, well I've been reading it, but continue reading. Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home. You guys, if you, I'm literally like breaking my neck to do this angle. Sorry, Draco, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to hold this up. Um, this series, this book universe has literally like set my heart and soul on fire. I'm sorry, it literally looks like heaven is like coming out of the wall behind me. Um, I am so obsessed with this series, but do you guys ever get this? Ugh, he's leaving. So mistreated, really. His life is just so hard. Um, do you guys ever love something so much that you almost like deny yourself of it? Like you are so excited about something, so invested in something, so obsessed with it, that you almost like put it off? Or am I just crazy? Because I do that all the time. Like I read the first two books of the series. The first book literally was like uh, one of my absolute favorite books of all time. Like I have not stopped thinking about it. The second book was also really good. But this third book, like I have been putting it off because the fourth book just came out and I am just afraid to like, be caught up on the series. I'm afraid to like finish it and be done. I mean, there's gonna be seven books total in the series, so it's not over or anything like that, but I'm just afraid I'm gonna have like a gaping hole in my chest when I finish it and whenever I'm just like waiting for the next book. I don't wanna be put in a reading slump. Like there's been something about having this book left to read that's like made me have something to look forward to. I don't know how to explain it, but like I read the first 100 pages of this book in like one sitting and then um, I just like haven't touched it and like, a week and a half because I'm just like stressed to finish it. But now the fourth book is officially out, so I feel a little bit better about finishing this one. So that is what I'm working on right now. Um, like I said, it's nearly one in the morning, but I'm probably gonna sit here for a few hours and read. So yeah, I'm most definitely going to forget to check back in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, Thank you guys for watching this very random chaotic sort of vlog. I'm super obsessed with my bookshelves, literally just like looking at them over there. My wall feels so much more complete. Like my apartment feels so much more put together. I am so happy that I have room to put books. Like I already am thinking about the books I wanna like buy myself for Christmas because like it's gonna happen, of course. Um, and now I have places to put them. Like it's so exciting. But um, yeah, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.